Andre Vasilevsky with a 29 save shutout in game five to send the Lightning on to round three. The way the Carolina Hurricanes battled them, all of these games were so close. Four to one series score certainly doesn't do justice to how close these games were. The two here, games one and two, both by a score of two to one. Had a tough time solving that guy right there, Andre Vasilevsky. One goal in each of those first two games. Finally able to pull that win out in the overtime game, game three. But what a battle from both teams. These, these teams are so fast. As expected, Brendan, you and I have been talking about it. The neutral zone game was important for the, both these teams like that transition. They like to move the puck and they like to use their speed. The Carolina Hurricanes won the division. They finished two points off the President's Trophy pace and five points ahead of the Tampa Bay Lightning. But the Lightning have seemingly hit another gear here in the Stanley Cup playoffs. And they are four wins away from a return trip to the Stanley Cup final. It is Let's Go Canes from the crowd here in Raleigh. They were hoping to see a storm surge and a game on Thursday in Tampa. Instead, this season for the Carolina Hurricanes ends tonight at the hands of Andre Vasilevsky. The question becomes, AJ, can anybody figure out a way to beat Andre Vasilevsky? He's a tremendous goaltender, and he gets a lot of help from the guys in front of him, too. You can see some respect there from John Cooper to the Nedeljkovic, who had a tremendous uh, playoff run himself, his rookie run. Calder Trophy finalist for Alex Nedeljkovic. Disappointment for the Carolina Hurricanes. And excitement for what comes next for the Tampa Bay Lightning. The New York Islanders are one win away from a rematch of last year's Eastern Conference Final. Either way, Tampa will get the winner of the Islanders and Bruins series in the next round. Pat Maroon just came in front of me and fist bumped both linesmen and both referees. John Cooper and Rob Brennamore. Mutual respect there for two of the best coaches in the game today. 